Thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for being a part of this project. Uh, we really appreciate your collaboration and your time uh, that you take out of your schedule to talk to us. Uh, I would like to start by asking you some questions. Uh, could you first, before we start the interview, tell us your name and a little bit about your background? Well, my name is Hedva and my family name is Sir. Uh, did you study art or where do you come from in the art? What is sort of... I'm a sculptor. Well, if I want uh, to explain myself, first of all, I'm artist. I'm sculptor. I'm, I'm an tapestry that you can see here behind you. My Obison tapestry, my jewelry that you can see, and my drawing. I don't know if you can see some drawing on the walls. What? But... Uh, what I really express myself, it's sculpture. This is my 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 issue. This is really something that I'm exercising, and through this medium sculpture, I'm trying to move on and to to give some um, uh, to, to give some ideas and to give and to deliver, especially to deliver messages. Uh, that's very interesting. I, what I seen your work very uh, commonly and the work that appears the most is the Tree of Peace. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about the Tree of Peace and what is the meaning and the significance behind it? Yeah, well, the Tree of Peace, actually the first one was uh, was created uh, uh, was created uh, and installed at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. The Tree of Peace is uh, it's a broad, it's a statue in broad, and I can explain to you, you have it in brush here, just next to me. So I can really express to you exactly what does it mean, the details. So here you have the word high in Hebrew, which means life. You have the salam in Arabic and the shalom. You have the dough, it for me it means only freedom. You have the life, you have the peace and you have the freedom. But you have also the this the sign the Muslim sign you know the half moon you can sit here you have the crease the sign of the crease and behind something which is very interesting the four letters the Bible it means God Shaddai so really you have the three religions you have the meaning you have the branches who are holding hands, who are asking for peace, and the men also who pray for peace. And uh, I discovered lately that it's mean in Chinese, this letter, it's a letter in Chinese that means Mu, and Mu is tree in Chinese. Yeah, the Chinese, so I said it's a tree, it's three universities in the United States, um, the president of Malta ordered it and installed it in order to commemorate the end of the Cold War that was signed in Malta between President Bush and President Gorbachev. Uh, the, the town of um, Berlin installed it to commemorate the 50 years of uh, relationship, diplomatic relationship between Israel and Germany. There is a big one in Baku, a, a huge one in Baku, in the place uh, in the place which is called the place of intolerance. You have another one in University of uh, Strasbourg, and uh, well, the, the idea of the Tree of Peace to put it everywhere and through this Tree of Peace to build roots and roads. It's mean, as we said at UNESCO that the war was created in the mind of the man, the peace also will be created in the mind of the man. And when you see the tree of peace all over the world, you have to think with, about peace, and you have to oblige people to be in the gardens and see it and to think about peace. It's another way to really to create art art like a tool for peace. It's, it's, a, it's a, an idea to spread it all over the world. Thank you very much. That, that is very 
clear. Your work is very clear. I you really appreciate that. Uh, how do you feel is your role as a UNESCO artist uh, in peacekeeping or peacemaking? Well, I'm working uh, to three um, uh, three projects. I'm ambassador of Goodwill and Special Envoy for Cultural Diplomacy. It's me that I'm, I'm uh, responsible of many projects. One of the projects is very interesting. I'm the godmother of international meeting of artists coming from countries of conflict. It's every two years in Andorra. The artists are working together, creating, they're beginning to respect each other, which is the most important thing, in relations, international relations. It's uh, in diplomacy, it's the respect, and this is happening through art. And then the relations that the beginning to, to create between the artists. The after, after every two years, the work that is made through these 10 days, is being shown in the very prestigious places, like the Parliament European uh, in Strasbourg. It was, it, we we're going to have an exhibition in, uh, in Brussels. We had an exhibition inaugurated in the um, uh, in United Nations during this very famous week of the General Assembly. The Prime Minister of Andorra and Madame Bokova inaugurated this. Uh, exhibition. And the same program that I did, in, that we're doing in Andorra, I copied it and, I, uh, and we put it in another area of the world, which is the Mediterranean, which is Malta. In Malta, it's a big success um, art camp. We're doing it again every two years. Now we have the second edition already in May of art camp. It's made that the upcoming artists from the Mediterranean, they are working together and the same thing that respect each other and the work is uh, also is being exposed after in, uh, in other prestigious places. My idea now is um, to spread it over some other region of the world. For instance, I was talking already in Azerbaijan and we might have an art camp. Uh, I'm going to, to uh, I'm going to talk about it uh, next uh, May. We have a tolerance conference in Azerbaijan. So um, we're going to talk and, and I'm going to introduce this idea of bringing artists from all the Caucasus area, ex from the ex-Soviet uh, Union, and uh, they will work together, and it's going to be in Azerbaijan. The idea to have it uh, in Azerbaijan. So all this is a very interesting program. I'm trying also as artist, well, as ambassador of goodwill and with my program of cultural diplomacy, um, I'm trying to um, to introduce and another idea, putting all over the, for instance, like in China, the idea of a building center for peace, with a military of peace, all around, inviting people to talk about the dev cultural diversity, about bringing uh, all sorts of subjects, subject about peace, but all around one center, which is the center of the peace. So this is an idea that I would love you know, to have it, an example than some other region in the world. It seems to me that there's something about unity and an attempt to bring unity of different communities, different groups, different uh, types of people. And this is expressed in a way by the tree, how it brings all this cultural richness together. Uh, what role do you think art can play uh, to generate like reconciliation in deeply divided countries or communities? Well, art today is essential, you know, when the diplomat doesn't succeed and, and you know how about all the countries all around the world. And I do believe that art, culture, it's a really, a, a, a very important way to communicate it. Through music you can communicate it, through art you can communicate it, you are bringing people together, and this is the first relation of uh, diplomatic relation, to, to speak to one by one, you know, it's not for mass, but you have to, I believe that you have to build relations 
and this relation should be unique and and all and to be surrounded by some other subjects but first of all the people the people around like the people who are dealing who are working who, are, who believe in, in cultural diplomacy who believes in art they should through art to communicate and and to find a new new ways for diplomacy uh, why is it important to generate artists for, uh, sorry connections from artists of different backgrounds like well, you, you university culture and diversity this is essential you have to learn about all other people the way they are living the, the way they create and it's in right in the you become more rich when you learn all when you learn all this so it's important to have a contact with all other civilization this is you know you can see it when you are in the united nations it's amazing when you see all the different language all the people all working together or in unesco which i you know i have it all the time next to me to unesco this is a, a, a very unique feeling you know to go from one language from one language to other from one color to another from uh, all sorts of cultures and coming from Russia to to Africa this is something which is unique and and we have to live in diverse in cultural diversity we we need it we cannot stay in a monoculture today the world has to be open to all sorts of cultures uh, and so this seems like a very big goal of yours and this is a very admirable and important goal uh, how do you think SSCC can help you in finding new ways to achieve this goal? Well, we are, we are, few, we are few artists of peace ambassador of goodwill, first of all. We are, our life is culture, and through, through culture, through art, uh, we are trying to reach some other people, to show what's happening, to show what's happening in another country, to show the misery, to show how can art, street art, for instance, can help, can talk to other people, how music can communicate it, all sorts of art, everything. So this is very important. This organization, it's, it's an important organization and I'm very happy to participate and to be a part of it because we can, we can make a wonderful work together. So uh, for me it's really important and I'm very, very happy to, and honored to be a part of this organization. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Hedva. It was an uh, absolute pleasure. Thank you so much and thank you really for interviewing me and giving me the opportunity to explain how art is a tool for peace, how important culture and art is for, for diplomacy today. The new way to, uh, it's a new way to practice diplomacy, which I believe it uh, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle and we're all in this together. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. You.